Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. We've got an exciting video today. Yes, today we are showing you a monthly recap. We are showing you everything we did in the month of June, starting from the first day of June to the last day of June. We're showing you before and afters. And can you guess how many pieces we flipped in the month of June? Leave a comment in the comments below and tell us if you are right, wrong. Let us know. Starting the month off with a restoration, this was a dresser and a bed combo. We stripped and stained the dresser in the color walnut and changed the hardware out and the bed she just wanted painted black. So those were the first two pieces that we did. Next up was a very fun project. This was a table and chest restoration and the woman's now 92 year old father built this table and chest so this was a very special project and we stripped and sanded and we restored it and this is the end result it was very well built the finish was just very worn and so we just gave it some love and refinished it this was the chest and we finished that in the same color and this was the end result love how it looks brand new but still gives the rustic you can tell that this is an old piece look then we went to some paint jobs so this dresser went into the color dark olive and we kept the hardware and this is the end result dark olive is probably one of my favorite paint colors to use it has taken me a long time to find the perfect green and I think I found it. Then we went to painting this mid-century modern dresser and we painted in the color white. We also painted the hardware and this went to the store on the 7th and sold on the 8th for $525. Now on to the next week, we are starting the week off with a paint and stain combo and this is what it ended up looking like. We took it to the store on June 8th and sold it for $595. This is one of my favorite combinations. It is perfect khaki and we just sealed the natural top because look how gorgeous that wood grain is and we added new hardware. And then this dresser we painted in the color White Dove and we sold it for $575. Then we had a six piece restoration set. So we had a chair, a nightstand, a bed, a desk, and a chest. And this was all going in the color Espresso. There is the bed before and here is the bed after. And then here is the mirror before. And here is the mirror after. Again, this is the color espresso. And then this is the desk before. And then here is the desk after. Looks brand new and that color espresso made it really pop. And then finally here is the chest and this is the color that we always show our clients and kind of give the caveat that, you know, it might not turn out exactly like the card because all woods take stain a little bit differently, but it turned out so beautiful. It just looks that nice, clean, fresh look. Then we went on to this table and we are going to restore it. You can see the top has a lot of damage to it. And here is the after. These are actually more difficult because what we were doing is we were just doing the top, so we had to perfectly match it to the bottom. Speaking of partial jobs, this piece was another job that we just did the top and we had the challenge of matching it to the bottom. And again, I think we did a very good job. We never promise perfect matches, but we always try to get very close. And this was a piece that went with the dresser from the beginning, but the client added it on later in the month. And we changed the hardware out and that was that one. And again, these are just the tops of these pieces and so we had to match it to the base and here is the end result loved the grain on all of these pieces very pretty and again we matched it to the bases and again this is another one where we just did the top you can see all you can see that it had a lot of water damage to the top and now it is all gone and cleaned up then it was back to pieces for the store. This dresser, we painted in the color White Dove and we took it to the store to sell for $5.25. And we also changed out the hardware and did some classic ring pulls. And this is the final look. Then we had a honor of working with a church. We did a communion table, a pulpit, and a piano. And 
this is the communion table. They wanted the words in remembrance of me to pop. So we went lighter with the color so that the words would pop more. And the same with the pulpit, we went lighter with it. And this is just a very classic look to a church. And so we were really pleased with the color and how it all turned out. The piano was very difficult because we had to kind of go in with a stain glaze kind of combo because the wood didn't really take but the piano turned out beautiful loved all the different wood grains to it i think this china cabinet was my favorite of the month so what we did is we were not able to do the stain that they wanted so what we did is we went in with a custom finish for the whole thing including the inside and in my opinion, you wouldn't even realize that this was a custom finish. This just really looks like that driftwood look that they were going for. And I'm very pleased with how it turned out, but it was very, very time consuming. I don't know if I'm going to do a one of this scale because that was a lot of work. Then we went to a buffet. This is going to be going to the store. We decided to paint it black and do a walnut top. And this went to the store for seven hundred and ninety five dollars we did keep the original hardware and we did change out the knobs but the top is the main focus of this we just love how it turned out then we went on to this custom work piece they liked a piece that we had done in the past and they wanted it done exactly the same way except for the fact that they wanted to get their own doors and they had a friend who makes doors and so he is working on the doors and they will bring it to us and we will paint it but the base is in the color reverent gray and the top is sealed with a whitewash and it's very much that beachy look they also had this mirror and she only wanted the center mirror and she's going to use it as like a hallway mirror and she wanted it kind of to go with the same look of the top of the dresser so what we did is we did a custom finish with a very light grain look to kind of give it a wood look without having to sand it and trying to stain it because all these little grooves and curves would be a challenge this one was just a simple paint job we painted in the color white dove this was a repeat customer of ours and we love our repeat customers these next two pieces were what we did for the store this one we bought for 30 dollars and we painted in the color dark olive and we stained the bottom drawers and we put it in the store and we listed it for 475 dollars and we also just did a little paint onto the hardware just to give it an updated look. This next dresser is what we call the apothecary dresser. We painted the base in the color cotton knit. We stained the top in a reduced walnut and added some apothecary handles and put it into the store for $6.25 and we bought it for $76 back to custom work we painted these chairs in the color amazing gray and we also had a set of nightstands that went with it it also went into the color amazing gray but had a custom finish put onto the top just to give a very subtle contrast it's hard to see in this video but that's kind of the point is supposed to be a very subtle contrast and a very subtle wood look to it then here was the table it had a lazy susan on the top and we painted it into the color urban bronze and here is a little panorama of the table last but not least is this buffet it was very beat up so we did a lot of repairs and she wanted it in the color black and i don't know if there's anything more stunning and classic than a black buffet she is coming up with the hardware but this is a look of the finished product what do you think? Did we surprise you with how many pieces that we flipped in the month of June? If you want us to keep doing our monthly recaps, make sure you let us know in the comments below and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you.